Hey everybody. I'm out in the greenhouse. I'm playing around. Uh, I haven't shown you all this yet, but I built a big old table and I'm planning on connecting it together with to make my rice patties. But uh, I'm having a little trouble working out the exact uh, dynamics of a, of a wood bed you know, made into water, so I have to put a liner in there. That's going to take money, so that's a future thing. <laughs> so, anyway, but, but I was out here thinking, and uh, you know, I always put the ins inside tea siphon in, and that's the way I always use When I have to clean it out, I have to clean out all the rocks and all this kind of stuff. Well, I, I thought, well, what if the tea was on the outside? I know that sounds ridiculous, putting the tea on the outside, but, you know, just putting this U-shape, see this, this U-shape here, uh, what if we put that on the outside and tried to create the siphon outside of the grow bed, and on the inside, you can see I have this long stretch of three quarter inch uh, PVC pipe with holes drilled all in it, so that'll stretch the entire length of the grow bed, and so it's going to be pulling the uh, the not so wonderful water that builds up in your in your normal grow beds from all over the, the bed. So it, it it should do a, a much better filtration job on your your water so and right now i'm at and i'm at this point i got this the the pump sitting there pumping it and uh i might even make this its own system you know what, what do y'all think about that 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 might be something interesting to get into so uh but i'll definitely consider that uh, making its own singular system but anyway so i i put these elbows on here and i brought it down past where the water comes in so when the water level fills up, up up above these elbows it should the air should escape and then it should create a siphon because this is it guys this is the first time i'm testing it right now it's the first time i'm testing it to see if it works so y'all get front row seats you know and uh if if somebody else is as I already came up with this, you know, I'm sorry I didn't see your video, uh, you know, I just thought of it, you know, because of my problems in aquaponics, so I'm, I'm always trying to, to work through problems. So, anyway, in just a minute, it should be above uh, the elbow level. It's starting to drip in here a little bit, so uh, I'm not really sure what's going to happen. Uh, I just don't know if it's above elbows or not. It's dripping in here. But a little more than a drip right now. It's a... Uh, it's coming out of it pretty good. So this is, this is going to be the test to see if it will create a siphon. Um, of course the water is going to have to come out of there a great deal more uh, than that. And, and the inside of the tank, uh, uh, I, I can see the holes aren't, aren't really sucking in water right now. The stuff is blowing right by it. So, uh, We're gonna to have to get past a certain distance that it's leaking, so that we can uh, leak it past. Let's see if we don't actually lose the air in there and push the air right by, and then and become an actual siphon and siphon all the water down. So. Getting real close to having a siphon now. The, the water level is about right here. The water level is about right here. So it's just above. It just burnt. It's siphoning. Y'all been siphoning it. I just heard it go <laughs> and it, it just went through. And the water level had to be just above this point right here. This, this pipe right here. Once it got past that pipe, uh, then it just created a, a, a siphon and it's uh, working good. Now, if 
for this one right here. All right, one gallon. Uh, to get this much water in here, this barrel had to be half full. So this barrel was, had to be half full. But if when there's rocks in here and roots and plants and stuff like that, it's going to create volume in there, so it won't take as much water. So uh, I'm I'm trying to figure out how many barrels I can run off one of these. I know I can do two really easy with the aquatics on wheels right beside us, but uh, I'm thinking the volume of the rocks and, and how much water likes to be held in there, be flushed. Uh, I would say 10 gallons maybe, 10 to 15 gallons with its amount flushed. So if I divided this into three, uh, I could probably get three working half barrels on it. So, but. Uh, while I've been waiting for this to catch the siphon, I've been thinking, well, this can actually hold five drill beds. So what am I going to do? So I thought I would take another barrel identical to this one right here, connect them together with grommets uh, going one to the other so the water level maintains the same level, and create it, this as its own system, but actually connect it to the big system too, so it'll do a flush every 18 minutes for for uh, the big system, and this system will will do a flush about every seven to eight minutes. So uh, it'd be a little bit different. This, uh, <clears throat> so this this needs to be looked into a little bit more. Um, I'm really excited about that. Uh, now there's not digging in there to find you know to clean out your bell cycle, to clean out your feed cycle. Now you just clean it on the outside, and I know you would have to eventually one day. Get in there and clean out your your tube, which goes will go the whole length of your uh, grow bed. But you know maybe if you you know we could uh, you know put it inside a bigger pipe or, or something like that and just and just pull it out like through through this you know just unscrew that and get it pull it out with some bigger pipes in there. So that's a wonderful idea and. Uh, I'm just going to record this just so we know. Uh, put a bigger pipe connected to with the little pipe running inside of it with the bigger pipe having holes in it too. So you're creating a bell siphon and a uh, and a T siphon, but you're just doing it long ways. And uh, so the, the water, I mean the roots and stuff would actually have to go through two sets of holes. So you know, that's about what, what we are shooting for anyway. So anyway, guys, I'm I'm really excited about this. This is this is pretty awesome, uh, and uh, you know me, I'll I'll throw up the system in no time with simple technology like this. Just elbows, just elbows, just taking them above the water level that you want to take them, uh, and letting it siphon out, and it it is just siphoning out really quickly, and the water's going in, it's replenishing itself. Uh, so. Uh, we're perfecting aquaponics, right guys? <laughs> Alright guys, I love you. And I hope y'all enjoyed this tip because I enjoyed this tip and I'm looking forward to it. So y'all were here as it went through. <laughs> as it went through my brain. Alright guys, I love you. Ani Ove Ocha means I love you. Later guys. <laughs>